Hey everyone and welcome to another TWM12 video on War Thunder. First of all I'd like to say I've opened the public discord for anyone who wants to join. The link is down in the description, everyone's welcome. It is a small discord channel at the minute, so the more to join the better. I would also like to say I created a Facebook page if anyone wants to give it a like. And I also started the community feature on YouTube that would greatly support the channel if anyone, if anyone wants to join it. Anyways. Without further ado, let's get into a much needed video on my, on my channel about the Challenger 2. Since I'm British, it was a long time coming. So, I'm sad to say though, it's going to be a bit of a bad, it's going to be a bit of a review where I actually have the shit in the tank, because, well, it doesn't just meet the meta in this game. <laughs> Sadly, it really underperforms in a lot of ways, even with the buff. Like, don't get me wrong, the Challenger 2 in this game can be really good. But can also be really shit very easily at the, easily at 10.3. Like it doesn't have the same speed. Its armor's unreliable. It doesn't have a very strong shot. It it's a weird one. It really is. But I do enjoy it. It's weird. I enjoy it. But at the same time, it's a bit of a kick in the teeth. So one thing I want to say before I get into nitty gritty stuff is there's two redeeming features if you have an aced crew and this is a big if if you've got an aced crew you get a five second reload with your first stage ammunition which drops at around six and a half seconds after which isn't bad you've also got great turret rotation speed at 31 degrees a second with minus 10 to plus 20 in the vertical guidance which is even though the vertical guidance is pretty standard, it's still pretty good. It allows you to be able to peek over hills safely and be a sneaky bastard taking a long range pop shot at some fucker that's trying to shoot in the spawn. Anyways, next thing I want to talk about is the shell pipe. And it's the stock shell that's the biggest letdown of the L23, if I remember correctly, it's the L23. It only has 396mm penetration at, zero, at 10 meters at 0 degrees which is really poor at 10.3 you're not going to be able to do a lot of damage in regards to effectively punching through some MBTs at 10.3 from the front and it's it's one I put it this way it's one hell of a grind to tier 4 to get the L26 however the L26 is a much needed firepower improvement for this tank as its shell type is on par with the T80s as it has 471 mil penetration so it is an outstanding shell type. It really does up the Challenger 2's combat effectiveness. effectiveness. While it does get the John uh, it, well, it does get the armor upgrade and I'm going to try and pronounce the word I'll probably get tongue twisted. It does give it some more survivability options it, but it doesn't increase it drastically. The Challenger 2 armor is unreliable, but when it works and you get into a good spot and a good situation, you are a tough nut to crack. Like I've had games where I've burned 20 plus shots easily, but I've had games where I've died from a single shot to the front of my to the front of the turret actually. However, that's the meta of this game. MBTs in general don't have all overly reliable hull armor. It's usually a turret armor, it's more reliable. Anyways, I want to talk about another thing on the challenge too. <laughs> and I really feel bad about giving all this negative shit about it because it's such a beautiful tank and it's a tank I love. But it's really sluggish compared to other MBTs. It only goes. It's got 59 km, I shouldn't really say that it only goes 59 km an hour, so that's pretty fast. But I've never actually reached 59 km an hour. I've only ever reached about 46 in it. Maybe if I go down a really steep hill, I'll reach, four, I'll reach 59, maybe. But she isn't what you would call the strongest in regards to her speed and maneuverability. Her engine's not bad, it's... 1,217 horsepower, 23,000 revs per minute. It's not bad, but it could be better. It really could be. So, the thing, would I recommend this MBT for people? It's a, it really is a tough one. 
And the reason it's a tough one is it's got a couple of good pros going for it. And the three main pros it has going for it is it's access to Gen 2 night vision, which has made it really fun to play at night time. I know night battles aren't everyone's favourite, but when you've got Gen 2 night vision and everything looks crisp and beautiful, you just kill things a lot easier because you can spot them a lot more easier. If you, so it's a it's a lot. It's very fun at night time. In my that's my opinion. I think it's very fun at night time due to them reasons. The next one is with an ace crew. You've got a five second fire rate with its first stage ammo. Like you're on par with the Type 90 at that point. It's an outstanding fire rate. You've got four shots at five seconds, and you can do four shots at five seconds. It's quite a lot of damage. It re a most shot times it's one shot, one kill, so but you've got the potential to take out four enemies in 20 seconds, which is pretty outstanding actually. Get, considering some tanks only fire every 7 or 10 seconds, that's not a bad fire rate, it really isn't. And the last major pro of it is the 31 degrees turret rotation speed. The reason I'm saying this is a big pro is it allows you to react to flanking maneuvers, it allows you to react a lot more quickly to tanks. You can swing the turret around to the side really quickly to get a snapshot off. It's pretty good that way. So what do I think what's the averages like the normal stuff? The normal the main thing that's pretty cons it would be pretty normal would be the minus ten to plus twenty. That seems to be pretty standard across most MBTs. Except for Russia, which is oddly weird. I have no idea what Russia was thinking, No, having pretty much no depression on their tanks, but... Let's be honest, the Russian tanks work, so I'm not going to question it. <laughs> Anyways. All joking aside. The vertical guidance is pretty average. So I'm not going to say it's a big pro or a big negative. It's pretty normal. However, it's time to get into the negatives. And I hate being negative about this tank, but have to. The first big negative is it gets poor stock ammunition. It really does suffer that way. But you do have a stronger shell to look forward to at the end so it might be worth the grind. Another negative is you have to wait for the upgrade to Gen 2 Night Vision. It's a t it, I know it's only a level 2 upgrade but it's still grinding if you don't have silver, eh, I was about to say silver lands, if you don't have golden eagles to spend on it. So it's going to be one of them vehicles that's only really enjoyable when you max it out in every aspect. Get a max crew, max up all its upgrades are on it. But they're not there. It's an enjoyable MBT. It's a tough grind, but it's enjoyable. I will say this though: if you are considering playing this here, please max your crew out for. The 5 second reload makes one hell of a difference, it really does. It saved me quite a few times. Came around the corner, got a shot off, it's ricocheted and he's ricocheted one off me. It makes it so much easier, especially when I can fire a shot off against T80 far faster than he can against me. It means I can defend myself a lot better. Especially if he's maybe took my tracks out or something like that. Though. It is important to have an ace crew, it's not, the, it's not the biggest game changer. Having an ace crew is helpful for it, but I think, actually, it's, I think it's worth time to actually round this here video up as it's getting quite far on in regards to how long it's going to be. Anyways, in conclusion, I would recommend this MBT for a seasoned player or a player that wants something different. In regards to how it plays against other MBTs, it's not overly competitive, however it is getting better and getting stronger. I do think the 2F definitely will make it far more competitive and far more enjoyable. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and thanks again for watching.